It's been said that if you're creating work that no one sees, you've lost. But what happens when you take being seen too far? In this installment of The Biz Plan, we speak with content creator Julian Mitchell as he explains how meaningful work always gets noticed. Name your price in the beginning. If it ever gets more expensive than the price you name, get out of it. Everything doesn't have to have like a, a end rhyme or reason of on a financial basis. I think that's been one of the secrets to my success. What happens most of the time, people change. People change around you because they start treating you different because of your success. As you climb those career ladders, just remember to reach down and pull others up behind you. I've never been about being cool. I've always been more about creating and doing meaningful work. And I feel like in a time now, people are satisfied with just being cool. Like once you get to the cool factor where everybody acknowledges you as that person, that's kind of people's peak now. You have very gifted and sharp and talented people that um, are almost like distracted from the real purpose or the real mission. And so they never create the meaningful work or the impactful work that they can create because they've gotten to a place where they're satisfied with being cool. What is gonna add value to the culture? What is gonna change the way people think? What is gonna challenge people's perceptions of themselves or of society or of the things that they like or the things that they believe in? That's a real trendsetter. That's a real trailblazer to me as somebody who, you know, is not satisfied with the fitting in. Cause at a sense now that fight for popularity is a fight to fit in. You have people who, that is their whole trajectory. That's how they become the big notable figures. A lot of times it's that hype, like they feed the hype. It's, it's you know, building on that and getting people to believe in it, invest in it. That's really the goal. It's not necessarily about doing any great work or earning that notoriety. For a lot of people, it's more about just getting people to believe they deserve that sense of notoriety or, or that positioning. Because really what it is, is there's this quote by Walter Payton, one of my favorite football players, probably one of the most humble Hall of Famers ever too. He said, when you're good, you tell the world, and when you are great, the world tells you. And I feel like that's something where, you know, if you're focused and you focus on the work, uh, all the other stuff happens, you know, like awards or people shouting you out or you getting any kind of acclaim. But I think if you're on mission, you should expect cool things to happen, you should expect great things to happen. And that's just kind of always the, the mantra that I've uh, lived by. You just have to stay humble. And for me, that's, that's really what it's about. The cool things are bigger than me, so I can't take the credit for them. It's all about the end goal, you know, like the, the ultimate end goal. See, there's goals, there's uh, checkpoints or milestones, and then there's the end goal. And I think that goes back to what we were just talking about, about, you know, just staying the course, like being consistent, staying true to yourself, doing great work, knowing that, you know, it's all possible. I think the biggest key to knowing that the end goal is reachable at all times is knowing that it's all possible. Like people say that when you grow up, they're like, you know, you can be anything you want, you can do anything you want. But there's a certain time where you have a light bulb moment where it's like, no, it's all actually possible. Like the multitude of things that I wanna accomplish in this short period of my life is all attainable. But the work's not gonna do itself. You know, it's like faith without works is dead. So you have to consistently and continually be committing and dedicating yourself to your craft and to getting better and to doing more and pushing yourself and pushing the boundaries and pushing those around you and not getting discouraged because things happen. Like you always have at any point, your highest point, lowest point, you always have the option to re-strategize, like to remap it out because you know where you're going. You know, like you know what you're trying to get to. It's like if, if you're on a map and you've been on the course for miles and miles and miles and then you may stray off to get gas or something and you way off the grid. If you know what that pin is, you can always find a way to coordinate exactly how to get there. And that's a lot of what the end goal is, is really about. I'm Julian Mitchell, and this is my biz plan.